विषम क्या विश्वासनीय Former Secretary of Defense Hema Siri Fernando testified before the Presidential Commission of Inquiry probing the Easter Sunday terror attacks for the fifth day today. The attorney representing the former Defense Secretary drew the commission's attention to a communique issued by the former president's media unit yesterday regarding his client who was giving evidence before the commission. He said that his client had been accused of malicious lying before the commission during his appearances these days via a letter issued by the private secretary to the former president. The attorney representing the former defense secretary told the commission that by accusing a witness who is already giving evidence before it an ongoing judicial process has been criticized by an outside party and therefore called for action against contempt of court. The commission then sought the views of the attorney representing former president Maitri Pala Sirisena on the matter. The attorney representing the former president stated that he was not aware of such a media communique and that his client has not instructed him on the matter. He requested permission to make submissions before the commission tomorrow with regard to the matter while requesting a copy of the relevant media communique. After considering the facts the presidential commission ordered the former president's attorney to make submissions pertaining to the matter before the commission tomorrow the former defense secretary then began giving evidence during which the state's additional solicitor general asked the witness whether the state intelligence service reported zaharan hashim's proliferation of extremism via social media to him In response Hemisri Fernando said that although the state intelligence service reported that Zaharan Hashim was spreading extremism on social media it was not analytical intelligence the commission then asked the witness that isn't it intelligence information that director of state intelligence service should provide him with the former secretary of defense responded saying quote Yes they are only supposed to provide me with analytical intelligence but most of the information sent to me were just reports it's useless to just send letters it's the duty of a postmaster the state intelligence service is supposed to submit intelligence information and make recommendations regarding that information unquote the commission then asked the witness as to who should be blamed for not preventing the attack responding to the question fernando said quote nilanta jayawardena The former director of the state intelligence service is culpable for failing to provide proper intelligence and for not properly informing the responsible officials thus failing to prevent the attack unquote Afterwards the additional solicitor general asked the witness whether the director of state intelligence inform him on the 20th of April that there may be an attack on or before the 21st of April Former Defense Secretary Hema Siri Fernando responded, quote, "Yes, I was sent a message via WhatsApp. At my age, I do not go through WhatsApp and Facebook messages." Nilanta called me and said he sent a message via WhatsApp and looked at the message afterwards. Had that piece of information been considered so important, Nilanta could have sent it through a messenger without texting me via WhatsApp. because the distance between our residences is about 2 kilometers nilanta called me and asked me to check my whatsapp messages which i did then i asked nilanta as to what i am supposed to do to which he replied that he conveyed the matter to the igp and asked me to speak to the igp then i called the igp and asked him whether nilanta had sent him a message he replied yes and told me that he is speaking to his subordinates about it IGP Pujit Jayasundara told me that this is all he could do at the last minute. Former Defense Secretary Hema Siri Fernando went on to say, quote, "I did my job as the Secretary of Defense. The IGP did his job too. It was very difficult to stop an explosion after a suicide bomber had planted a bomb. Zaharan should have been arrested an year ago. The Terrorist Investigation Division was following Zaharan, but it was stopped. The IGP will say more on this when he testifies." It is not my job to catch Zaharan and I cannot advise the director of state intelligence on intelligence information only the president can advise him directly former president Maitri Pala Sirisena and the former director of state intelligence service had a bond that went beyond a father son relationship i had no ability to influence that connection unquote leave ayush karabuneti dantale paya shaktimat dattipalakata